Good morning, welcome to A Little Bit of Hope. It is a gorgeous day outside, and actually I'd film outside, except they're doing all sorts of construction out here in New Hartford, uh, either side of the church. Uh, you certainly can hear it without question, which, as I was thinking about as I was setting up in here, I thought, wow, there would be a great, uh, hard to hear, but still a great basis for some devotions is sometimes we have to reconstruct or have to take things apart to rebuild them, to sturdy them, to provide something new. In a sense, that happens in our lives too. But let's first look at Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 through 20, the Great Commission, something we've heard many times before. But let's listen to several sections of this that really jump out to me. Then the 11 disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain, where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me, therefore, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. And I couldn't help but to read this over and over again. Actually, I picked it for a verse for Sunday's sermon because... There's so much we can build off of here. They went to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. They were obedient to what Jesus had told them. And Jesus had picked this spot to deliver this message. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. But not everybody. There are some that doubted. Isn't that life? We're still dealing with situations where some might doubt and some don't. But Jesus declared his authority to each and every one of them. And then he gave them a charge. Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But don't just stop there. Teach them to obey me like you have in this situation. Teach them to obey every commandment because that's how they will grow. That will be their foundation. And then the promise. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. You're not alone as you're going to make disciples. And the word of God is strong because of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Trinity, which we celebrate this Sunday as well. Well, it's going to be an interesting week. Um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday is annual conference. I will try and uh, have some videos up. Uh, I'm not sure that I can, but do my best. Uh, we are in session usually from early in the morning till late at night. And so much business. For annual conference to come together to, to do every single year. All the clergy are required to attend and a good portion of the laity. Um, every church should have an opportunity to send someone there as a representative. So I hope that in this session, God moves in a drastic way, much like Pentecost Sunday. But we are reminded this Sunday, Trinity Sunday, at least through this scripture, uh, to go and make disciples, to go make students. So that it's, it's more than, annual conference is more than just a, a gathering, a business meeting. It's a fellowship. It's a group of believers coming together trying to uh, do the will of God. And that's certainly a prayer request uh, to be put out there. So let's pray. 
Dear Lord, we thank and praise you for this beautiful day you've given to us and for this time together. We ask, Lord, that you bless us in every way. Watch over us in this beautiful time together uh, season. Just as May is finishing and June is starting, Lord. Uh, warm, sunny, just inviting us to experience your creation. We lift to you, Lord, uh, annual conference and the business that is at hand. And we ask, Lord, that you move in a strong way, reminding us, calling us to obedience and blessing us as we do and strive to make disciples for you, Lord. As we come together in fellowship, we also ask, Lord, that we lift up those who are struggling this day for whatever reason, those who are physically ill or have family that is, those that are heading for surgery or recovering from surgery or strokes, other things like that, Lord, we ask that you move and heal them, Lord. We lift you, Lord, those who are in areas of conflict, warring areas, and we ask that you watch over them, protect them, and give them hope, Lord. It's got to be frustrating. No <clears throat> loss of security, possibly, of people you know as well. Lift to you, Lord, those who are serving overseas uh, or are serving in our military, especially, on a call on a moment's notice. Those who are protecting our freedom, including fire and police locally. Watch over all those that are traveling this time of year as well. And we will be ever careful to watch how you are in the move, Lord. We thank you, we praise you, and we lift all this to you in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Well, my friends, thank you for watching. It is a gorgeous day. Fortunately, I have some work to do before I can get out and enjoy it. But... Until we do see each other again, any comments, concerns, prayer requests, please leave them in the comments section below. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May you be blessed and be a blessing to others. Share a kind word, a random act of kindness. Show somebody some love today. Share the gospel. It's full of hope. So as you go forward, be safe. God bless you and look forward to seeing you up online again. Bye for now.